So we decided to mix up the background today because we didn't want our backgrounds just to become stale. Unlike this tutorial, well, we're gonna create a really awesome background by using 3D text right here instead of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunday Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. A lot of cool concepts in this video because we're gonna be implementing glows and how to easily create a 3D title or any graphic that you would like to use for your motion graphic. If you want me to stop rambling, go ahead and drop a like on this video and let's get started. So there's more than just creating a 3D title, a 3D background here. We have some lighting principles that just really help take this next level. So a lot of cool tricks in this video. So here we are in a tutorial composition. We're just gonna start out with a basic title using the font Gotham Black, and I'm using a very dark background. So go ahead and set that up. So once you have your title in here, which should probably be two lines at least, what we wanna do is make sure it's set to a 3D layer, and we're gonna hit R on keyboard for rotation, and for Z rotation, we're gonna alt click the stopwatch and we're gonna type in time asterisk say five, right? So it should look like that. So we'll have this animation like so. Then I wanna add a little bit of color depth to this. So we'll go to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab a gradient ramp. And this is gonna be a part of our lighting setup because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first anchor point here, put it over here to the top right, and we'll bring this bottom point to the bottom left. So we'll come here to start of color and we'll select a, say a darker type gray here. And we'll come here to end of color and we're gonna go ahead and select maybe a very dark orange or whatever color you want it to be your primary color in there other than white or black. And we'll have our gradient like this. So then we'll add a keyframe for start of ramp and also end of ramp. We'll move forward to say five seconds and we'll grab that top anchor point, move it over to the left and we'll move that bottom anchor point over to the right. And so now we'll have this very subtle grading animation, which will be great for lighting. And you'll see in the final result, it'll almost be like as if a light is moving. All right, so now let's go ahead and take our title or graphic and turn it into 3D. So what we'll do is we'll grab our title layer here and we'll go to layer pre-compose. We'll call it placeholder. This way you can update it later and click okay. Make sure we turn this to continuously rasterize right here with that icon and make sure it's a 3D layer as well. So now we'll make this 3D very easily. So. What we'll do is take our placeholder, go to edit, duplicate. We'll come here to the bottom layer. We'll hit P on keyboard for position and we'll set that Z value to one. Okay, then let's go to effect, generate, fill. And we're gonna change our color to that dark orange that we created for our title, but make sure it's just a little bit brighter and we'll click okay. So then now what we can do is we'll take our placeholder one, we'll duplicate it, come here to the bottom one, set that down to two because that means the other version is gonna be set to one and we'll duplicate the bottom one, change the bottom value. So we're gonna create enough duplicates until we have eight and they're all gonna be offsetted with the Z value by one. So now I'll have eight duplicates in here. You'll see that each one Z value is offsetted by one point. So I'll go ahead and duplicate the bottom one and I'll change the color code of this so we can keep track of what we're doing. Uh, and once again, we'll hit on keyboard and we'll set that to nine. And we'll change the fill color to a very nice bright orange and we'll click okay. Perfect. So then we'll take our placeholder here, duplicate it, and we'll set this up to 10. And we're gonna create a total of five copies this time around. All right, so now that we have this all set up correctly, we can take everything except for that top placeholder. We'll duplicate this, bring it underneath. And then of course, we're gonna offset these all by one exactly. So we see that we were left off that Z13. And then we can just go ahead and select them all and update them. The top layer just needs to go to 14. So I wanna go ahead and create just one more layer here. So I'll grab the next order here, duplicate it, and I'll bring it underneath like so, and I'll hit P on my keyboard, and we'll make sure this is set to 27. Perfect. So yours should look something like this. So that 3D text is starting to come through, but we really want it to look awesome like this. Before we roll on, if you're looking to produce professional work inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 plus templates for all your post-production motion graphic needs. That link will be in the description and if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, now let's go ahead and showcase this in its full 3D glory. Do yourself a favor, set your quality to quarter right now. My computer's melting. Maybe it'll make this process a lot quicker. So then let's go to layer, new camera, click okay. So we're gonna use the camera tools here. So you can cycle through C on your keyboard and you'll get a handful of camera tools. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom into this. So. With the double arrow tool here, you can click and you can just, you know, pull in or out. And we're gonna really pull into our scene or into our text, should I say. Okay, then we'll hit C on our keyboard and you'll get this rotation tool. We can rotate this by a little bit and get the angle that we want. And I'll continue to move into this scene until we get the right angle. So it takes a little bit of just experimenting with what works best for 
you know, what you want to do, what the look is going to be. But I'm going to pull this down. Beautiful. All right. So then also what I can do is I can say create a null object or a layer new null object. And I can parent the camera to the null object and I'll hit R on my keyboard for rotation. Make sure it's a 3D layer just because it should. And I'm coming here to my rotation, say Z rotation, and I can just, you know, change the rotation of this. It makes it a little bit easier to do this with a null object and kind of experiment where I want this to be. And when you're happy with your settings, we can take this to the next level with some glows. The movement's already gonna be baked in based on that rotation that we did in the very first composition. See how that rotation's already there. So to help add some glows to this, we can do something super simple to make this pop. We'll go to a layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll bring this underneath the first set of placeholders here. And this is where the orange is really gonna be sticking out. So then we'll go to effect, uh, stylize, and we'll grab glow. We'll just set our glow threshold up to 100%, and then we'll duplicate the glow effect. Then we'll set our glow radius up to 20, and we'll alt click the stopwatch for glow radius, of course, we will do that. And we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis two comma 30. So this way the glow effect will be wiggling. So then we come here, we can say pre-compose everything. So we'll select it all and we'll pre-compose it. Call it, you know, text background, click okay. So I can come here and say add a title on top of this. But one thing I suggest doing is creating another adjustment layer and go to effect noise and grain uh, and add noise to this. So go ahead and create any title you want, but set your noise amount to 12%. Uh, and this is gonna really help blend this in better. Uncheck use color noise. I think it adds a very nice touch to this, especially with a title on top of it. Um, and I think that looks awesome. And here's what everything could look like if you put a title on top and you followed this tutorial. FYI, we grabbed this title from our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack as a template. So hopefully now you have a new motion graphics style for your portfolio or just to make your client happy. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. You can also download our free After Effects templates pack. That link will be below and always be creative.